it's Miss Mary with our May Booknote. Today, I have two titles that I am so excited to share with you. I do have to give you a little bit of a warning. They both kind of make me teary-eyed um, quite a bit. The first one is titled, Benji, the Bad Day in Me. And I'm so grateful, actually, um, Miss Katie, one of the other uh, youth librarians, shared this with me. It's the story of a brother, two brothers, actually. The, the older brother is having a rough day, and he feels like nobody is noticing. And he's kind of right. Nobody does notice. But then his younger brother, you think nobody's watching, but his younger brother is watching. And his younger brother comes out, and he does the things for his big brother that mom and big brother do for a little brother when he's having a rough day. They pull out a blanket and wrap him up like a burrito, and they snuggle together, and it helps. And the author's note at the back, which by the way, I forgot to mention the author is Sally J. Plaw, and the illustrator is Ken Min. And there is a note in the back that I like a not a lot. It says, um, at our house, our autistic and non-autistic sons alike had fuzzy blankets they carried around, and they often asked, on both good days and bad, to be wrapped tight into burritos. This can be comfy and calming, and it's what sparked the idea for this story. And so it goes on to talk a little bit about how no autistic kids are alike, and their needs and behaviors are different. But um, it's not always easy being a brother or a sister to somebody on the autism spectrum, but this is a wonderful book. It's not too preachy. It is just a great story of the beautiful relationship between two brothers. The other book is titled Pup and Bear, and I thought I might have shared this before, but Miss Amanda says she doesn't think I have. This book is by Kate Banks and Mayoko Stoop, and I might be pronouncing that wrong. I forgot to look it up before I came in here. Some of you, if you are enrolled in the Dolly Parton Imagination Library, may have received this book. This was definitely one of their selections. This is the story of a polar bear that takes care of a lost Arctic wolf. And it's also kind of a story about kindness and the wheel of life. The illustrations are beautiful. I think they might be... They look like pastels, um, maybe oil pastels. I'm not 100% certain, but I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And the story of Pup and Bear is very good, especially for kids who might be separated from their primary caregivers for a reason. Um, I just have to share with you the end of the story because it gets me. Um, the little um, bear pup is with the wolf mom, and he says, aren't you going to eat me? Wolves eat polar bears. And the mom of wolf says, not this one. Climb on my back, and I will take you to my den. And she does. She takes him back to the den, and then the wolf mom says, I am not your mother, but you can stay with me until you're big enough to be on your own. So maybe, um, like I said, this could apply to a variety of situations. First of all, it's just a good story with amazingly gorgeous um, illustrations. But if maybe somebody is in foster care, or having to temporarily or permanently live with relatives, this might be a comforting story because it doesn't try to diminish the sadness or the grief. But there are other grown-ups in the story that help love and are kind to the child. And uh, it just gets me every time I read it. And I keep reading it. So thank you for listening to me talk about these two books that kind of get me a little bit of point. I hope you have a great May, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.